All right, so like I was talking about, we talked about our AND statements and OR statements. So here is an OR statement. However, before we separate them into our two cases, you have to isolate your absolute value sign. You guys remember solving the absolute value equations? You have to isolate your absolute value sign. I told you on your notes to write that nice and big. So add 2 to both sides. Absolute value of 3n minus 2 is greater than 3. Now create your two cases. When you create the two cases, Cedric, you get rid of the absolute value signs. You guys, this confuses you, right? You're like, how do you solve with absolute value signs? Create two cases so then you don't have them anymore. Make sure when you negate, you flip the sign. OK? Uh, why why don't you get rid of the absolute the, the less than or equal the less than or greater than sign? This is the original sign. It's less than sign. Why don't you get rid of it to make it easier? There's two I mean, cases. You can, but you want the ant. I mean, you can replace them back in later. I did. Oh, I didn't flip it. You're right. <laughs> there you go. That makes sense, right? So I look back in there, and so I say, what statement is this? When it's a less than, that means it's an and statement. So I like to write and so I know it's in. So my solution is going to be this and that. And we'll talk about and. Remember, and, think about the Venn diagram. The and is going to be the intersection. So let's solve these. Plus 2, plus 2. 3n is less than 5. Divide by 3. n is less than 5 thirds. Here, add 2. 3n is greater than negative 1. n is greater than negative 1 third. So now I create my number line. Or on my test, I'll have a number line. But I need to think of where is negative 1 third? Well, that's between 0 and negative 1, correct? Yeah. And where is 5 thirds? That's going to be between. Or three or yeah, five thirds, that's gonna be between one and two. So I'll do negative two, zero, negative one, one, and two. Cedric, do you see this? Okay. So let's plot the points. Five thirds. That's gonna actually be one and two thirds, which would be right here. Since it's less than, it's gonna be an open circle. That means all values that are less than five thirds. Is that gonna go to the left or to the right? To the left, correct? So we know that that's going to go to the left. n is greater than negative 1 third. That's going to be the open dot right there. All values that are greater than negative 1 third are going to be to the right, correct? Mm -hmm. Since it's an and statement, we're only going to shade where they are true for both of them. So where's the only region that makes both of those true? Because right, these go on to infinity, right? This line goes, all the numbers make that true, and all the numbers over there make it true. But where is the only solution point that makes both of them true? Okay. Just between them. So that's why your answer, the and, it's important to know the and is going to be that what only makes them true. Yes? No. Do you guys see this? Make sense? Close? You have a question? Yes? If it's an equal sign, then we're not going to be shading it. You're still just going to solve with your two solutions, but you're just going to get values. Huh? And it doesn't have an inequality sign? All right, I'll have to go and take a look at it. All right, that's it. If you guys will take out your.